this video is no nonsense straight to the point guide of understanding the layout of the landing page and how to create the same using Elementor. I'll show you how to create an eye-catching hero section, a logo slider to build trust, and product cards to showcase your services. I'll also add a testimonial section, an email form to retarget visitors who leave your page, and a FAQ section at the end to address common questions from your visitors. To create a landing page, I'll first go here and add a new page. Now the next step is to create a hero section, which involves a banner image, heading, subheading and our CTA button. So go here and add a flex box and select this container. Let's keep the width and height to 100 from the left. And to add a banner image, let's adjust its position from here. Choose no repeat from this drop down and keep display size to center. To give a premium and fade effect, go to the background overlay and choose this color. In the advanced section, I'll add some padding from here for the overlay text. Now click this icon and drop a text container on the banner like this. I'll change the text to this and to change the color position of the text, I'll use style and advanced option. Once done, it should look like this. Next, we will add a subheading and it should look something like this. With this done, let's add a call to action button, which is basically a button that sells your product or service. So drag and drop the button here. I'll rewrite the text, increase the weight to this and increase its size using this slider. Once done, it should look like this. It's a good practice to add a section about clients we have worked with. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's add a container by clicking here and from the left, make this full width. Whenever you add a container in future, always make sure to change the width to full width. I'll make the background color yellow and then drag the image carousel widget on this container. Let's make this medium resolution, change the number of images in the slider and lastly, add my client's logo by clicking this plus icon. So let's add a container, change its color from here and put a heading like this. Let's edit it from here and increase the margin to create some spacing like this. Now let's add an image and black cover overlay like we did for the banner. Now let's drag the heading here for pricing, edit the text and it should look something like this. For the CTA button, I'll go up and copy my previous button come back and paste it here. I want to showcase three services here. So let's go here and duplicate this two times and it should look something like this. Even if the pricing is affordable in the customer's eyes, they may need something extra to trust us better, even at a subconscious level. For this, I'll drag the testimonial widget and drop it here. Now from the left, you can simply edit the details, change image, and when it's done, it should look something like this. We are almost there. Now for the next part, we will add our story. Let's create one more container, but this time with two sections like this. On the left, we will put our story with social media buttons. And on the right, I'll upload our company video. Now I'll drag the text editor widget from here and drop it into this container. And below it, we will drag our social media widget like this. It's a good idea to add an email subscription form. So let's drag and drop heading and text editor like this. Then for a form, we will install a free plugin called WP Forms. Don't worry, it's super simple. Just go to plugins, add new plugins and look for WP Forms. Here it is. Let's install and activate it and then refresh the page. Next, click on create from down here. So let's drag it here and then go on top to save the form. Now come back to our landing page and from the left, drag WP Forms widget like this. Let's choose a form from here and voila, it's done. Next, if you want to add a FAQ section, let's add a two section container like this. Now drag the toggle widget on the right like this. Next, let's add our FAQs. So click on it, 
and on the left you can put the questions here and answer in this box. Once done, it should look something like this. Awesome, we are done. Now let's see how everything looks. I'll go to my page and scroll through it. Yeah, everything looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.